coming up on today's episode of Airborne Uncrewed. Airbus Zephyr S remains aloft. Dominion Energy and Skydio secure BB loss waiver. And Vertical Aerospace and Molisell partner to power the VX4. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Uncrewed program, a weekly news program covering all things uncrewed, in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Uncrewed Vehicle Systems International. Let's get into today's stories. Airbus Zephyr S remains aloft. The Airbus Zephyr S took off on June 15, 2022 from the U.S. Army's Yuma Proving Grounds and remains aloft at this point. It is capable of reaching an altitude of 70,000 feet and remaining aloft for a period of time measurable in months. The wings of the 165-pound Zephyr S stretch an expansive 82 feet and house solar collectors that power the craft's twin propellers. The solar arrays charge a lithium sulfur battery that stores energy enough to keep Zephyr flying throughout the night hours. Zephyr 8's predecessor, Zephyr 7, formerly held the official endurance record for an unrefueled, unmanned aerial vehicle. The record flight spanned a 336-hour, 22-minute, 8-second time period, 14 days, 22 minutes, 8 seconds, between July 9th and July 23rd, 2010. In 2018, the larger, lighter, more capable Zephyr S smashed its progenitor's record by logging a 26-day maiden flight across Arizona's sunny skies. On June 27th, the test Zephyr departed southeast bound, proceeding over the Gulf of Mexico, then on to the Caribbean Sea before taking up a westerly course back toward the U.S. Airbus has been conducting Zephyr S test flights over western Arizona for some time. Whether or not the ongoing flight is a record attempt is unknown. After these messages, urban air mobility on the rise. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. In the next Uncrewed Minute, let's take a look at some shorter stories making the rounds of the uncrewed vehicle communities. Urban Air Mobility on the rise. Eve Air Mobility, the subsidiary of Brazilian airframer Embraer and producer of electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, recently brought together representatives of its customers and partners. The assemblage, which comprised more than 20 participants from over 10 countries, gathered in Lisbon, Portugal to advance the INCOA urban air mobility industry and develop standardized approaches to general and aircraft operations, maintenance networks and parts distribution, aircraft performance, urban air traffic management, cabin design, and passenger journey. NASA reestablishes contact with Capstone spacecraft. Capstone is the first mission of NASA's Artemis program, a multi-phase, multi-year endeavor undertaken to return human beings to Earth's moon. Departing Earth from a New Zealand launch site on June 28, 2022, the microwave oven-sized Capstone vehicle thundered spaceward atop a rocket lab launch vehicle. On July 5, 2022, NASA reported that contact with Capstone had been lost. Finally, on Wednesday, July 6, engineers raised Capstone on NASA's Deep Space Network, an antenna array by which the agency maintains communication with and control over its deep space and orbital assets. The Congressional Advanced Air Mobility Caucus Aviation industry groups are raising their voices in a chorus of praise for a congressional body newly formed for the purpose of educating Congress and the public in the myriad complexities of emergent advanced air mobility technologies. 
the 20-something members of the Inquit group, which has bestowed upon itself the title of the Congressional Advanced Air Mobility Caucus, intend ostensibly to take a bipartisan approach to increasing understanding about technologies expected to be certified by the Federal Aviation Administration within a matter of years. Aero TV at AUVSI 22, Percepto Autonomous UAV Systems Impress. Among the dozens of video features ANN shot at AUVSI's Expo 22, we're proud to present an intriguing program featuring the Percepto program. Founded in Israel in 2014, Percepto is a leading provider of autonomous drone in a box systems. The company's AI augmented cloud based operating system, which it calls AIM, Autonomous Inspection and Monitoring, is a field proven software that employs drones and robots to automate inspections of industrial facilities and infrastructural installations. Check out this and other programs at aero news.net or on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash aero tv network. That was our uncrewed minute, now back to the rest of the news Dominion Energy and Skydio to secure BV loss waiver. Dominion Energy and Skydio have jointly announced that the Federal Aviation Administration has granted Dominion Energy a waiver to fly Skydio drones beyond visual line of sight for purposes of inspecting power generation facilities in seven states. Dominion obtained subject waiver in cahoots with Skydio's regulatory team and Virginia Tech's Mid-Atlantic Aviation Partnership, a component of the FAA's Beyond program, a pay-to-play DoD program that allows state, local and tribal governments in collaboration with industry to undertake more complex unmanned aerial system operations in the national airspace system. The waiver authorizes Dominion Energy, one of the U.S.'s largest energy companies, to conduct VV loss operations to inspect more than 40 power facilities in Connecticut, Georgia, Indiana, North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, and West Virginia. Dominion Energy will conduct the imminent BV loss operations using Skydio's X2 unmanned aerial system, which pairs a foldable airframe with Skydio Autonomy, an AI-driven software engine that Skydio claims allows its drones to see and understand their surroundings, plan a path through them, and avoid obstacles. After the break, Vertical Aerospace and Molotel partner to power the VX4. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Vertical Aerospace and Molisel partner to power the VX4. Vertical Aerospace has announced a partnership with E1 Moly Energy Corp, a Taiwanese manufacturer of lithium ion batteries under the Molisel brand. The deal will see Molisel supply high power cylindrical cells for Vertical's VX4 eVTOL aircraft. By securing an alliance with E1 Moly Energy Corp, Vertical Aerospace avails itself of expertise and experience the Taiwanese company has garnered over its 40 years as a leading supplier of high-power battery cells. Mala cell battery technology is in use across the space, automotive, and power tool sectors with clients the likes of NASA and Formula One racing legend Williams. Battery cells and the broader battery system are critical components of the VX4. The vehicle's certification and ultimate success are predicated upon its ability to deliver safe, economical, high-performance flight operations. Molisel furthers Vertical's objectives by providing the world's highest power, thermally stable, longest-lasting cylindrical cell. To date, Vertical has received conditional pre-orders for a total of up to 1,350 aircraft. 
Buyers include American, Avalon, and Virgin Atlantic Airline, air charter operator Marabini, travel coordinator Iberojet, and aircraft broker Bristow. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.